around about early 2000s, I, I would have been traveling the world and um, I would be quite exhausted living out my backpack and I would uh, arrive at Durban and I was intrigued by the nature, the river, the culture and the community. Of course, I just really enjoyed the, the process of of coming down onto this land and, and, and looking at its contours and working out how we could incorporate a skate park into the terrain. I am Dallas Oberholzer, founder of Indigo Skate Camp, 1AB Professional Skateboarder. This amazing household that kind of welcomed me in and I could feel like at peace just being here and I'd feel so welcome. You know, I had a, a very generous mama there who she would even prepare food for me. I had this vision of, of building a skate park in nature. In so many places in the world, there's, there's so much red tape and there's so much legalities. And it was simply a matter of suggesting we build a fun play place and everyone embraced it and there was no hesitation. The youths were so keen to participate and assist in the construction. That was what basically made me believe in the momentum that we would move forward and that people would participate and assist. What's up, mate? What's up, mate? What's up? Okay. Yeah. All right. Bend your knees a bit. Okay. Okay, look. Look at Coming here as an Umlungu, straight away, there were lots of eyes on me and lots of hesitations, and so it was a slow progress of winning their hearts. Gradually earning people's trust, being as much as possible one of the community members. <laughs> So, so, man, Jane, I'm trying to show him that I'm just a little bit clean at a clubhouse. My name is C. Shengubane, well known as G. I'm a project manager here at Indigo Youth Movement, so I kind of like manage everything and I look after the place. Dallas, to me, he made me who I am actually. Ever since I met him, I have learned a lot. Like I have learned to manage things that I never thought I would like manage. My name is Tabane Changase. I'm staying in this village. Uh, my role in this project is to be a coach. I've been skating for 11 years now. We were kids and we were like watching Dallas skating down the road, like asking ourselves, like, wow, how's this guy? How we do that? He teaches you some moves. Was Kuluma Gama role model and Palatin was like Agmel was a role model, Guzzo Gube, Ulianal Mess, no more Cristiano Ronaldo, no more President Tawampeg, a role model Gunga, Ulaz, a Bogu and Guzzo Obuela and Gena in or adapt our Glen and Alessos Cat again. Okay, as in Piano Laz, the Kine Otto, the Fed. So yeah, when I first came here, I realized uh, people utilized the earth to build homes. And looking around, we had many old skateboard frames. And we basically made a much stronger house that would endure a lot more. So this house, it's a rammed earth house made from these skateboard frames. The resources here are all around us. and. Um, I think this facility needs to just showcase um, and be a, be a success story in cultivating its own food, harnessing its own water and sustainable methods. And I think that way it will reach out to surrounding communities and that's how we'll affect change. These are South African heroes.